Morning everybody, day five, we're in Augathella at the roadhouse here. So it's the usual thing, porridge, we jam, cup of tea, and we'll have a check with the map. So today our plan is to go from Augathella to Blackhall. It's about 213k. So join us and see how we get on. Looks like we've got a visit at the camp. I spilled a cup of porridge out and he's hoovering. Well, you can see in the background we're pretty much packed up, so we're going to get going to Blackhall. Uh, we've got a tea stop at 91 kilometres and we've got lunch stop at 139, so we'll see how we're doing. It's quite misty out there, as you can probably see. Um, the sky was, it was kind of lifting earlier, but it's come back in again. So it's going to be a bit fresh, I think, until that lifts. It's time to get ourselves out of Augathella, and handily enough there's a nice downhill run. But you've got to get over the crown of the road first. And uh, not really sure what Katrina was up to here. There she goes, trying to get a run down the hill. I'm not sure the camp dog was too impressed with that effort. Anyway, Katrina rolls the bike off, but it doesn't start. Here we go again. And a couple of goes on the crank handle, and that's it. The infield's running, the spack's running, so we can send Katrina and Colin off into the misty murk of the morning. And then I can get back up the hill, find the gem, and go and join them. Let's go. So, day five to Blackhall. I've got myself a nice hill here, and I'm going to take full advantage of gravity. That'll do. <clears throat> there we are. Two cylinders. Black Hole 217, that is our destination this evening for camping. Well, it looks like I've caught Colin. He's going unusually slow. I wonder if he stopped with a problem. Because Katrina's not here. Feels like it's getting a fuel block all the time. Yeah, I... yeah that's all wet. How has that got so wet? Well, here we are on the side of the road again, pulling carburettors and float chambers off so we can clean them out. We seem to have a common problem going on here of dirt and water in the fuel. I don't know what's going on with the fuel around this area of Queensland. All sorts of problems. Anyway, we'll pull it all apart, we'll clean it, and we'll put it all back together again, and hopefully that'll sort it out. We shall give that a go. Yeah, no problem. Yep. Okay. Well, this clearly isn't working. So we thought we'll stop that and we'll have a go at pedalling it off and see if that's going to work. Surely something's got to. Things just aren't playing ball in this damp weather. God, this road's slippy. Come on, old girl. 
that will do. Great. Let's go and try and find Paul. Well, I've got dramas here, it just cut out. I've got no idea why, but I'm worried it's starting to fill full of water again. And it's fired back up. <coughs> I don't know what happened there, it just cut out for a few seconds. Queensland's outback wing flew to the central west. And this is, I think, the Matilda Highway that we're on now. Look at that, blue sky. That's a welcome sight. Hopefully we've got through that weather front now. Cole's half a K back down, I'm just going to go back down for him. Well, I overtook Colin, just coming up to the sign here. Just to point him into the truck stop for our tea. Um, and he stopped on the side of the road, so I don't know if he's out of fuel. I think, I think you ran out of fuel. <laughs> well, I guess Cole's bike does... Well, that's 91.6, but I've been done a loop. So I guess his does 90.5 on a tank of fuel. Oh, mind you, we ran a bit of fuel through everything when we broke down. He would have made it if it wasn't for that. Try that again. To the tea stop. Might even be Vicky's too. Bickies. Bickies and tea and coffee. Okay. Well, that's pretty flash. Picnic basket. Oh. Well, we've got hobnobs, Tim Tams, coffee, tea, even fruit. Well, I left the spoon. I ran out of water. Oh, I'm having a good morning. Back to forward. There you go, sir. The oval fields. Well, with morning tea and bickies done, time to fire the bikes up and we'll get ourselves on our way to our lunch stop. At least the spat fired up nicely this time. Okay. Okay. Once again, the circus hits the road. <laughs> oh, I don't need this again. <laughs>
but it was trying to go so I pushed it up to the top of the slight rise push it back down again it was trying to fire and eventually it caught god I was relieved and a bit knackered ah too much like hard work right 25k to Tambo fill up with fuel Whew. Mitchell explored this area in 1846, the Major Mitchell Trail. Here we are on the outskirts of Tambo, so there should be a fuel and rest stop on the right hand side going into town. There we are, there's the sign for Tambo. What have we got? A windmill and some sheep. The oldest town in the Central West, first Qantas crash site, world famous Tambo Teddies, heritage precinct and grassland. Well, fancy being famous for the first place an airline crashed an aeroplane. It was good timing to the fuel station. Colin and Katrina had just got there and they were getting Double the caps off their banks ready to refuel. But we had a bit of a queue. We'll just have to wait our turn. What is it? A regal? <laughs> Kidney car rally. Must be a charity rally going somewhere. Now we've filled it with fuel. And now we've got 20k to lunch stop. Where are we now? Tambo. Plenty going on here. There's the FN. No idea what they're up to. So that blue car, the engine seized up on that, so that's going to get trailered to Broom. 53 metre long road trains, caution. Well, we're at the lunch stop outside Tambo. Time for a cup of tea, get a bike to lunch, and uh, just have a look at the bikes. We're full of fuel, so that's okay. We've got about 100k, I think, to go to Blackall. So we're doing okay. The weather's lifted. It's just getting better and better and better as we're going, so that's great. So we filled our bellies with another tasty lunch, beef pastrami wraps from Maryland today, and then we were back on the road to Blackall in no time.
here we are towards the end of the town of Blackhall, which is where we're camping. I just had to stop and pick a couple of bits and pieces up. The um, caravan park we were staying at is completely bogged, so we're changing campsites to the showground. So we'll have a run through town, I might as well show you what town's all about, and uh, fill up with fuel, get to the showground. That's how a day's riding done. So this is the town, famous for its black stump. So here we are in Blackhall, that is the black stump behind me there, um, and that was used as a geo-reference for laying out all the cities in the outback and everything else uh, back in 1887, I think. That's not the original stump. The original one was there for about a hundred years and then got burnt down. Uh, so that's a petrified tree replica thing of it in the same place. Uh, the other point about the black stump is that it was basically taken as the line where civilization stopped. So east of the black stump, which is that way, was taken as being uh, like the civilized world. And west of it was called beyond the black stump. And that was taken as outside civilization like you know the proper outback and such like so obviously that's where we're heading so we've got all 16 or 17 of us in the group all packed together here and we've got the whole showground area to ourselves so you know that's worked out pretty good in the end there's a few wet patches which we'll avoid but there's enough high ground that we're okay they've had a lot of rain here the last few days so that's the oval you can see there behind me but just behind that uh, are actually the um, hot artisan no it's not artisan, artesian, GAB, Great Artesian Basin is where all the water for this whole area of Australia comes from, which is a great underground aquifer between, I think it's 100 and 3,000 metres deep, and that aquifer is at 58 degrees C, and it's at 61 psi by the time the water gets to the surface. So this town was built basically, they stuck borehouse down, found the water, and uh, that's how the town is. So there's no hot water service in the town at all, it all comes from the GAB. Pink or red wine. Oh Lamb chops and potatoes. It all looks delicious. Papa candy. And we're full bellies and after a good glass of wine, one last shot of the sunset from the drone, and we're off to bed. So join us next time when we're going to continue our journey west. And please remember, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.